Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to be doing a fix-it video for you today. What you're looking at right here is my toilet. My broken toilet. Well, it was broken until uh, I came up with a little bit of a solution. And uh, it's not, by no means, is it a uh, is it a permanent one, but, you know, it'll hold me over till I can uh, take a trip over to the hardware store. Let me just open up the tank for you to show you what's going on. So we got a little bit of a mechanical problem here. If you look, in my hand I have the flusher. Of course the flusher handle is supposed to go right here, right in the hole where the... Uh, there's a hole in the porcelain that will allow for a uh, uh, flusher handle to go right in. Of course, we've all seen that before. That's the part of the toilet that we're very familiar with. And of course, there's this plastic arm that's connected on the inside of the toilet to that handle. So when we pull that handle, this this plastic arm comes up as we pull down on the on the uh, on the handle. And on the end of this, I mean, it's, it's not connected right now, but you see these holes here. See, there's a pin that goes in the hole, and it, the pin connects the arm to the chain that pulls on. It's a little bit hard to see, but here you can see that refill, that refill pipe. But right down here, we have the chain running all the way from the plug at the bottom of the tank going all the way up to the flusher arm so this plastic piece cracked off you know you know and it's it's bound to happen you know you got plastic parts in a in any kind of any kind of mechanism you're working with you know you always run the risk of uh, of a cracked piece of plastic and you know the way it was the way it fit on for you know a couple of years uh, was like that and you know you can just imagine you know turning that turning that flusher handle and the arm coming up obviously we did that one too many times and uh, put too much stress on that arm so I haven't made my way over to the hardware store yet but I have come up with sort of a uh, temporary solution I've taken that chain uh, it's also a plastic chain and, I, and it's fully intact. There's nothing wrong with the plastic chain. So I've I fed the chain all the way up and through that hole that I was talking about earlier where the flusher should go. And so I fed it all the way out of here and then I've tied a weight. And in this case we're using a, uh, a matchbox car. That's uh, kind of cool. Anyway, we're using a uh, we're using this as a weight, and uh, well, I'm not gonna waste the water that's in the tank right now because this thing, I mean, this thing is working. You know, I got I do have water flowing in this tank, so. But basically, all you gotta do is, you know, pull at the weight on the chain, and uh, and it'll open the valve, and you know, function the same way a flusher would work. Um, but basically you're skipping the step of the arm and you're just pulling the chain directly. So I'll probably head over to the hardware store tomorrow to replace um, to replace that arm piece, that plastic arm. I should be able to keep the flusher. I kind of like the way that one looks. And uh, and then I'll have this thing going uh, going normally. But you know. For now, this is working no problem. You know, as long as I got full functionality, and you know, you know the the aesthetics of this whole thing is secondary. So, I just thought I'd share that little that little solution with you all, and um, be sure to post comments for anyone that this has uh, happened to, uh, what you've done in that sort of situation, or if you've got any other tricks up your sleeve, or if there's any way of uh, of uh, Re, uh, repurposing or um, or actually uh, fixing the the broken plastic part that we got um, 
you know, you could probably pick it up for about seven bucks at uh, the hardware store. But uh, you know, if it's possible to to repair um, to repair the cracked part, then uh, I'd be very interested in uh, learning more about that. Um, obviously, won't happen this time around. I mean, I am gonna I am planning on making my way over to the hardware store tomorrow, but. I would be very curious. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.